over here I have Mr. Gabriel, who is the founder, yes. I believe, yes. and the creator of the GIS game. <laughs> Tell me about this game, Bootleg System. Yes, so okay. yes, I am the founder of Neonibol and the creator of Bootleg Systems, which is a first-person shooter and puzzle platformer for PC and consoles. Okay, tell us a little bit more about this game. What's, what's so, so uh, unique about it? So, we all know that uh, first-person shooter games are really popular. They are the most popular video game category. And the reason for this is because since the very first FPS games that were published, uh, so we're talking about Wolfenstein 3D and Doom in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, it's been a long time and there's been more than 1,000 first person shooter games that are published. And I can give you any of them for you to play and you will most likely get the exact same experience on the gameplay aspect. So you will start playing the game and we will give you a gun. You will okay. shoot bullets and then we will give you more guns and then you will shoot more bullets. So it's always the same thing all over again. So, for the first time in video game history, we're doing the complete opposite. So, in bootleg systems, we only give you one gun. The yeah, long gun. I know. And, and the, uh, I played this game not long ago, and I can tell you, I saw something that was really... Uh, not. It was just weird, but goofy at the same time. I was able to go ahead and scan a banana. Yes. Uh, like, say, tell me about what's going on with your game. What's... why? Okay, so... So, picking, picking back up where, where we left, so, the clone gun, you can scan objects. Uh, so, if you scan a banana, then that banana becomes your ammunition. So now you can shoot bananas. So, if you scan toilet paper, then you can shoot toilet paper. Everything that you scan becomes ammunition, and then you can shoot it back to use as projectile to crush enemies. But you can also, for bigger objects, you can use them as uh, platforms in order to overcome obstacles. And also, sometimes you can even use these as keys to solve puzzles. So it's a really nice, satisfying mix of shooting, platforming, and puzzle solving. What gave you the idea of like you know scanning an object with your gun and uh, being able to go ahead and use that same item and shoot it? And also, at the same time, what I took notice is that when I scanned that banana, uh, like I wanted to go ahead and break the glass, it wouldn't break it. And then I would have to kind of wait and then break it. I mean, that was just incredible. Yes, well, everything is based on physics, just like in the real world. Ah. So, so objects that are heavier will do more damage. So you have to take that into consideration every time you're fighting or you're trying to solve puzzles. So many of the puzzles will be uh, physics based. So you need to take into account which objects you're going to use, so they can you can select them, uh, those that have the, the correct weight to be able to uh, find the right solution. Tell us a little bit more about the storyline with this guy. Who, who is the the, uh, the man behind the shoe? You know the gun. Well, the thing is, you're saying the man, but I never told you it was a man. Oh, oh we don't know who it is. Well, okay. The protagonist. The protagonist. Uh, the protagonist's name is Logan. Okay. Okay. And uh, Logan uh, is has a huge responsibility because uh, in the universe of bootleg systems, we are in a distant future where humanity is no longer on Earth. So uh, to leave as a legacy, humanity has created a digital system, sort of like a computer, to uh, collect all of our information about our knowledge and uh, our inventions to leave as a legacy. So inside of that system, there are some rogue agents that uh, have decided they will pirate the data and they will create their own systems. So this is why we call the game bootleg systems because there are many of them that were uh, created based on the original one. So your job as Logan is to infiltrate all of these bootleg systems one by one and you have to infiltrate them and dismantle them. Oh man, man. One th uh, I want to say that when I was playing the game it, it looks so beautiful, but also the other thing that I took notice is the music. Yes. And the music, like, I know I, I've said this before, and I, I, uh, it's very synth wave. The, it, it, the very things, it, here's the thing that clicked my mind. I told you, it clicked my blood uh, dragon. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know why is it, but can you tell me, like, why, what, what, 
what, more about it? Like, of course. So uh, as you mentioned, synthwave. Uh, and you also, also mentioned the looks of the game. So the reason why we decided to go with uh, a retro sci-fi um, style is because, of course, because of the setting of the story. Uh, but me personally, uh, I I find really inspiring the iconic 80s movies such as Tron, Back to the Future, and Blade Runner. And if you look at these movies, this, the music, the, as as for this game, plays a, plays a huge role uh, in you as a player feeling immersed in that universe. So uh, for for me, it was. Um, it was obvious that we had to go with synthwave music, so I did some research online to see which uh, synthwave artists uh, would be the best in the world to have, like really, like this sort of uh, the same love as uh, as I have for uh, these uh, retro sci-fi universes uh, that are so inspiring to us. And this is how I, I got to meet Dream Fiend. Dream uh, what? Dream Fiend. Dream Fiend. Who is an Australian synthwave artist. And uh, we met... Uh, we met uh, uh, it's been a while now that we've been in touch. And he's, he's been there since the beginning. And uh, he, he's still here today. And he is the one who is making the music for uh, bootleg systems. And uh, if it wasn't of him, uh, I don't think that the game would have uh, already the success and the... Uh, approval that it is getting uh, from all around the world. Not to mention the feel, because that's the one that really gave me the, the good feel. Yes, yeah. that's all about how the game feels. So as a game designer, we're always searching for new met uh, methodologies to improve how our game feels. Sometimes we don't think about uh, the music, we just think about the gameplay. The music plays a huge role Ooh. into you uh, like having this good feel about the game. So uh, I'm I'm just really happy to be uh, to have the opportunity to have such a such a uh, talented uh, uh, teammate to be uh, to be working with us uh, to create the bootleg systems universe. And uh, of course, if you want to uh, play the game, you can go on bootlegsystems.com uh, or neonable.com, which is the name of the studio, and you will be able to find the link to the Steam page where you'll be able to download the free pre-alpha demo. So you can uh, experience the game for yourself before it is released. Wait, did you hear that? Did we, did we get that right? A free demo? Yes. Where? Where, where did we get that? So we can. You can go on bootlegsystems.com, Bootleg uh, and uh, you'll be able to get the link from there. Man, I, it's a pleasure to find to meet you and trying out the game, guys. Bootleg system by. Uh, Neonable. 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 Okay. I like that name. Neonable. Okay. Uh, check it out. Check out the demo. And well, if, if somebody wants to go ahead and contact you regarding the game, if they there's, if there's an idea, can you go ahead and add more to the game? Or is it finalized? Uh, no, we're still working on the game. The game is uh, still in development right now. So uh, the people that play the game, so you can, you can go ahead and download the, the demo. And there will be an option for you to provide feedback right inside of the oh. demo. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there's a button right for uh, just just for that. So the bu the button for uh, uh, feedback, and then uh, you'll be able to provide your feedback. And uh, so um, you can also contact us on uh, any social media, and we'll make sure to uh, to answer you. There you have it, folks. Neonable, Bull Lake System, dude. It's Mr. Gabe. It's a pleasure meeting you. The pleasure was mine. Okay. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Uh, don't check check him out on social media. Hit him on Twitter. And if you have anything you want to say, he's your guy, and yes. he'll go ahead and take in all your feedback and comments. Okay. This is Dark Wolf 80s signing off. I'll catch you guys next time.